Hello! We have the second episode of the full power, nothing else build. Yes, that is what I've decided to call this. And the second episode is a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, so, yeah. Again, very scared of this one. Haven't driven this one, actually. Last, last, last time I drove it, this time I haven't driven it. Thing is, this thing is this thing has an engine in the back, so yeah, I don't know how well this is gonna work out, honestly. Okay, so upgrades, obviously power, done all the power again. It has, I believe, what? Let's go, 861 horsepower. So not as much as the Jag, but this is rear engine. So yeah. I'm not sure what engine this is. I think it's a Porsche engine. I don't know. It could be Subaru. No, I don't think it's Subaru. Subaru is a flat four. This is a flat six. But yeah, we're running the thing. What is it? Three liter flat six? Yeah, three liter flat six. So where the pistons, I think it's a boxer engine. So the pistons go like horizontal instead of in a V shape like they normally do or straight up. Yes. Science. The more you know. There you go. Okay, so we have no upgrades. Look, we don't. We genuinely don't even have like aero parts for this. Like this, this car is completely bone stock apart from the power. So yeah, we'll go. To, we'll go back to Laguna Seca. If you remember last episode, um, the Jaguar did a one fifty three something. So I'm. I don't think the Beetle will beat that. Um, but it'll give it a damn good go. I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. Once again, loading screens. Pain in the ass in this game. Also, one problem with this game, the menus take ages to go through. Seriously. It's not even funny. Okay, so, old Beetle. That looks awfully high for a Porsche. Okay, and go. All of the squatting. Just, no. That, what? The suspension is, the suspension rolling is real. Also, this has a stock gearbox, so I don't know how fast this will actually be, like in a straight line. Seems like it'll be okay on speed-wise, and I've completely missed a braking point because I'm an idiot. Um, I'm not allowing myself to restart it, so I'm just go with that. Because I don't want to keep—I don't want to make these videos too long for you guys, because that just kind of gets boring after a while. I think, like the Battleford Hardline episodes, those are super long, and well. Yeah, I don't want. I, this isn't Battlefield Hardline. Let's play. This isn't. This is a uh, something slightly different and slightly more fun, rather than just kind of sheer exercise. Oh god, I was looking at something on the computer screen and I stopped. Although that was 160 miles an hour, so sh we should be okay on the, on the speed front. It's just whether I can actually get it around the corners. Oh, bye. That's that's my friend's to That's my friend Toby's set account. You remember? I was in one of his videos once, I think, and yeah never uploaded it so yeah but yeah he's a good friend of mine and I believe he has a YouTube channel uh, called Toby Unwin I think Just, I'm not sure I'll have to ask him afterwards but yeah he's a he's a good mate of mine he doesn't he does YouTube videos but he doesn't do them that often and he's he's more FIFA based like this video was more FIFA based at the beginning because it was just Matt doing it oh god the body roll is real oh god Oh, this is this is hard. This is hard to drive. This this is not a very fast car. I can tell. This is not going to be quick. I mean, if I can control it, if I can get used to this car, because I had a bit of practice with Jack. But if I can get used to this car, then uh, then maybe, then maybe. Also, these are cars that were already in my garage, and I was just kind of like, oh, let's use that because it has lots of power. And yes. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that's that's already slower than the Jag was. The Jag was under two, well, it was under two minutes here. The Beetle isn't. Oh god, all of the understeer. Jump. That was a jump. That was definitely air. That was definitely air. Oh, well, that was kind of useful. Please don't spin out. <sighs> yeah, one problem with rear engine cars is the bias is, the weight bias is over the rear, so that causes a lot of spinning out. It helps with wheel spin, but it's a lot of spinning out. Also, one tire fire going on like, all over the place, because no limits is sort of diff. Well, no anything, except for lots and lots and lots of power. How am I five seconds ahead already? Seriously, Forza? You kidding me? Okay. This could actually be a decent lap done. Ugh. Sorry, I need to stop talking. I talk too much. <laughs> I need to focus. Damn. Well, it's better, on, it's better on the oversteer front, but that's because it's not 
terrifyingly light and terrifyingly powerful. I think the Jag was like £2,300 or something, maybe even less than that. So it's a bit ridiculous, <laughs> honestly. It's uh, just just faintly terrifying. If you own the Jag D-Type in Forza, in Forza 5, go try it out. It's, it's fun, definitely, but it's also pretty scary. Go try it out, and if you can manage to get like a competitive lap time in, with just the power, oh god damn it. Uh, if you can manage to get a competitive lap time in, with just the tune that I did, uh, then send it to me, hopefully, and might I might feature it, because that's pretty cool. Good job to you, if you do that. Well done. Okay, we're already eight seconds faster on this lap, and we've crashed like three times, so... Yeah, this actually might be quicker than I thought it would be. I don't know, it depends on this final corner. But... Oh, that's better. That's a lot better than what it was on the game. I'm surprised that the, like, well, I don't know. I completely forgot what I was just going to say. Yes. Don't you hate that when you, oh god, body roll. Don't you hate that when you just completely forget what you were about to say and you're just like, eh, like, what, why, why, why are you do this, bro? Please, please, I beg, I cry every time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm just rambling on now. I'm actually going to shut up and let the car sound, let the car sound nice, yes. God doesn't sound too bad. I think it has the. By the way, I am doing um, aspiration swap, so I am doing twin turbos on most, if not all, of these engines. Like I think the Enzo V12, the one that was in the the Jag in the previous video, I think that only got about like nine eight hundred horsepower without the twin turbos. So the twin turbos are like a huge difference in that. Also. Ferrari engine in a jag, in a classic Jag. People would probably try and murder me if this was, if that was real life. People would try and chew me because people British people do not like it if you screw around with their nice Britishy cars. Yeah. So just just a warning to any Americans or anyone else that's watching this for, for that matter. Um, don't muck around with classic Jags and put Ferrari engines in them. The British will get angry at you. It's it's going to happen. Promise me. Promise. Me. Even don't. Okay, so, well, that, these three laps have gone super quick, actually. Uh, I don't think we're going to beat the... Yeah, we're not going to beat the Jag. But still, I mean, we came fairly close. I think, what was it? One... What was it? Was it, was it, was it, was it, was it was a 154, I believe? So, yeah. Um, yep, there you go. There's a 154 mark, so we haven't beaten the Jag. But, I mean, didn't do too badly, considering the amount of body roll on this thing. So best lap was a 154-117. There we go. If I can get the car stopped, I'll uh, bring it around. Can I do some celebratory donuts? Or will the LSD not let me? Nope. Come on. Donuts. Nope. Won't let me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's kind of disappointing, actually. But yeah, there we go. That was the uh, that was the VW Beetle. If you like this video, you know, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do with it. And... Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next uh, in the next video. Goodbye.